As EFI has become more and more popular with late model performance cars, we've seen the market, particularly in the United States, change dramatically and those who have been more familiar perhaps with running carburetors in the past have finally started to make the move towards EFI. Now this does lay some challenges in front of them and obviously adopting to that new technology can be tricky for some. Now Holly have been in the game for a long time with their EFI systems and we're here to talk with Tom about how the Holly EFI Dominator and HP EFI systems work and how they ease that transition from a carburetor tuning perspective to EFI. So first of all, that challenge if a customer is more familiar with tuning a carburetor, how do you ease that transition for them when it comes to adding a full EFI system? There's a lot of misconception out there in the industry that there's a lot of black magic, smoke and mirrors involved with EFI. How do you guys deal with it? So we really try to take the black magic out of the box. So when you deal with the Holly system, our software user interface is very user intuitive. We supply a lot of base maps that'll cover from really basically bone stock engines all the way up to some real high horsepower turbocharged applications and nitrous applications. A lot of the systems out there really focus on a VE-based fuel mapping strategy. And while you can tune a VE-based table in Holly, one of the things that we've done is we offer a fuel flow based table. So if you get folks that are used to carburetors and guys used to tuning with fuel flow and brake specifics, it allows them to transition quite easily into Holly EFI. So you get that guy that's got some, let's say it's 600 horsepower on pump gas, he knows roughly he needs about 500 pounds power fuel. He can look at our base fuel maps and look at peak RPM and he can actually kind of proof it out and verify it before he even tries to start the engine. We give you a lot of simple scalability to work with that. So particularly with that fuel flow, it just means that they can take what they already understand from the carburetor world and translate that straight into EFI? Exactly. Now I know that another one of the areas that causes a lot of uh, anxiety for those transitioning from carburetors is the complexity of the wiring systems. And for those of us who are used to EFI, it's something we, we probably understand a little bit more. But uh, when, when you're just starting getting started with EFI, it can be a little bit daunting. So uh, what options do Holly offer for wiring up the engine? Hmm. So one of the things to do to simplify that is from a lot of real common applications, we actually have plug and play management solutions. So we have plug and play harnesses for common 24X and 58X LS applications, late model Hemis, modular motor Fords, Coyotes. We also have some universal plug and play multi-port harnesses for common applications for Chevrolet and Ford. We have some combinations that allow you to do plug and play upgrades like a Chevrolet tune port application, some universal throttle body applications. And for those folks that have something that's kind of outside of the box, we also offer universal unterminated harnesses that offer them a custom solution. So really if you've got a customer there who's got a, a relatively stock standard LS, uh, you can provide a plug and play solution that's going to literally plug into all of the sensors and the actuators outputs on their engine and you'll be able to provide a base map that will start that engine and have it up and running? Correct. We actually even go a step beyond that with our Terminator LS engine managers for takeout, which include either the HP or the Dominator style EC, it just has a Terminator sticker on it. For somebody that's new to fuel injection, they're afraid of the black box and afraid of the computer, we have plug and play solutions that use a three and a half inch LCD touchscreen, has a setup wizard, a customer can take a LS engine with a 4L80, 4L60, and even drive by wire throttle body, buy a complete kit with the ECU, all of the harnesses are required, a three and a half inch LCD touchscreen, plug it all in, go through a setup wizard, and within a couple minutes be able to run the engine, the transmission, and the drive-by-wire all in one unit. Now that's really got to simplify the solution, particularly for those who are doing uh, engine swaps. Now I just want to come back to, uh, the, the, you just talked there briefly about the automatic transmission. And this is another area that a lot of aftermarket ECU solutions really struggle with, is controlling. Uh, these automatic transmissions now, they're computer controlled and they are quite complex. So when you remove the factory ECU out of the car, uh, often the automatic transmission essentially won't run. So uh, how are you dealing with that inside the whole the ECU. So currently we support GM automatic overdrives for four speed. So 4L60, 65, 80, 85E. We have a very user friendly interface. It's real time programmable. You can easily program your wide open shift points, your part throttle shift points, your lock up, what gears it can lock up in, when it unlocks, unlocks right on the road. So you can get one guy driving, one guy tuning, 
We've really simplified that quite a bit. You can do paddle shift and even an auto manual mode where you can flip a toggle switch and manually shift it or flip another switch and actually just have a momentary input that allows you to basically paddle shift those transmissions. We're also working on additional applications for some additional newer, more modernized GM transmissions as well as Ford, uh, Ford 4L60, or 4L60, it's one of the Ford. Uh, AOD 470W transmissions are in the works right now and we should have that stuff available with plug and play harnesses here in the very near future. Now, particularly with the other options available for retuning these, these uh, engines and transmissions uh, when they're running the factory ECU via the technique of reflashing, when it comes to the transmission that can be really daunting because literally there, um, there may be hundreds of, of tables and often they're not labelled in uh, a way that makes them really obvious as to exactly what they do. So uh, you're really simplifying that solution so it's obvious to the tuner and really just giving them the control that they need to make the transmission function how they want it to? That is correct. So another thing with it, we do have very good instructions, but one of the features that we've incorporated in our software, if you guys that are familiar with they look at software, you can download the software free on our website and just play and look around with it. At the top you'll see where it says help and it has a question mark. Anybody can click on the help with a question mark and it'll put a little question mark next to their cursor. They can go to any parameter in the system and click on it and it'll actually automatically take them to the terms and definitions associated with that parameter. So if you get somebody that's new to fuel injection, they may see something they're not familiar with what it is, what it means, what it does. To keep them from having to really hunt through the instructions, we've made that even easier for them. They click on the help with a question mark, click on that parameter, it'll bring up the page, tell them exactly what they're looking at, what it does and why and how you tune it. That definitely is going to make it easier for those people just uh, sort of dipping their toe in the water with the EFI. There's a lot of terminology to understand, obviously. Now the other aspect you, you mentioned back there a little bit ago was uh, the fact that with the automatic transmission you can make live tuning changes. So again, just looking at the option of reflashing, which is popular in this market, uh, those changes to both the transmission as well as the ECU tuning, fuel, ignition, etc., uh, generally cannot be made live. So uh, can you tell us how that is an advantage from the tuner's perspective? From a tuner's perspective, one of the things that greatly simplifies is time. The other thing with reflash and OEM ECUs, it is more time consuming on the flash and you actually have a lot more chance with OEM ECUs you're probably aware of potentially crashing an ECU when you're constantly reflashing it. Uh, the other thing with the trans tuning, a lot of things I'll do a lot of times is my personal preferences may be different than yours. If I'm working on your car and you're the owner, I will generally have the owner drive the vehicle especially in the street car, and I can tune it real-time based on preferences. You may say, oh, I want this thing to you know, tack out a little higher before it shifts. It's tacking out a little bit too high, depending on what their feel for the lockup is. So being real-time programmable like that, you can do it on the fly. It's instantaneous changes. It simplifies things. It's easier to get it dialed in. It's quicker to get it dialed in. And to be honest with you, a lot of times it's easier to get a customer happy. Well that's the important part really and you're right, everyone's uh, idea of what's perfect is going to differ. Uh, coming back to the uh, fuel control as well, uh, closed loop control of the fueling is a really valuable way of uh, improving the accuracy of the fueling as ambient conditions change, maybe there's some slight errors in the fuel mapping. Uh, so can the Holly control uh, the fueling in real time via wideband controllers? Correct. So the HP system utilizes one wideband. You can use either a Bosch or an NTK wideband sensor. You do have to get that sensor for that system from Holly. And the reason for this is we actually take the time where we hand calibrate every single sensor before it gets packaged. The Dominator ECU can do two channels of wideband. And with the two channels, you can program the system to either look at the left bank, the right, the richest, the leanest, or an average of the two. Beyond the closed loop controls, all of our systems also have auto learning fuel strategies. So an end user, again, that's kind of a little bit scared of the system and trying to dial it in, can program a target air fuel ratio table. They can set compensation limits and based on the required closed loop compensation, the learn will offset the base fuel table, essentially working down closed loop. So it doesn't have to make corrections, which can not only simplify tuning and speed it up for a customer, it can take a lot of the guesswork and a lot of that you know, intimidation factors sometimes of tuning out of it for somebody who's new to fuel injection. Now you've just mentioned as well the HP versus the Dominator there and the HP uh, ECU, essentially the same ECU that's being used currently in ProStock, has been the control ECU in ProStock for uh, a little while now. Uh, can you tell us the differences between the HP and the Dominator? Mm -hmm. So the HP and the Dominator system, the way to look at the Dominator is it's really just an expansion of the HP. 
So currently ProStock and Arc are using the HP ECU. It's actually the same ECU that's in a basic Terminator kit. It's a different sticker. So it gives you modular upgradability. You start with one of the more basic systems with a handheld programmer, then access it with the laptop software and have full capabilities of the HP. The HP system can run up to 16 fuel injectors. You can stage injectors on a four cylinder. It'll do your DIS controls. You can do some water meth, boost control, data acquisition, DIS ignition, some custom input output logic that's tied into it. It is limited to four auxiliary inputs and four auxiliary outputs. When you step up to the dominator, that expands it. You can do trans control, drive by wire, two wide bands. The input output capabilities are expanded to approximately 40 auxiliary inputs and 40 auxiliary outputs. One of the nice things with the Holly system is a module upgradable system. So if you expand beyond the capabilities of an HP, you can simply disconnect it, hook in a dominator, load your existing global file, start the car and drive it down the road. There's no rewiring involved, there's no reprogram involved. It's module upgradable so our system can grow with you as your program changes. I think that's a really powerful aspect because a lot of products out there on the market, if you outgrow the system, uh, requires significant wiring changes so that modular upgradability is certainly a, a nice feature. Now if our viewers want to find out more about the Holly product, where can they head to? They can go to our website at holly.com. That's great. Thanks very much for your time there explaining that system, Tom. Thank you very much. Have a great day. If you liked that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask questions which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.